I'm Nisha Pandey and you're watching Prime Times News. Let's start with the headlines. Parties active in making strategies with the announcement of the election. The ruling coalition firms a working group for the distribution of seats. Oli says democracy will be over if coalition wins the election. Millions of young people looking for jobs abroad. More than half a dozen big industries of the country closed for years. The issue of operation limited to theories only. The ministry says the issue of opening is being discussed. Construction of cruise ship incomplete. Employees without work. The trend of announcing the plan in random upsets the citizens. At least 13 people dead and dozens injured when a fire broke out in a pub in eastern Thailand. Investigation into the incident continues. A Nepal women's team drops one position to 102 in FIFA World Ranking. Now news in detail. The ruling political parties have decided to forge electoral alliances in the upcoming elections of the House of Representatives and Province Assemblies. The government today decided to hold House of Representatives and Province Assemblies elections on 20th of November 2022. A meeting of the top leaders of the ruling alliance held under the chairmanship of Prime Minister and Nepali Congress President Sher Bahadur Deoba on Friday at the official residence of the Prime Minister at Balwar Thar decided to move ahead with making an electoral alliance among the five ruling parties in the upcoming elections according to the Prime Minister's Secretariat. President of Nepali Congress Deoba, Chairperson of the CPN Mao Center Pushpa Kamal Dahal, Chairperson of CPN Unified Socialist Madhav Kumar Nepal, Chairperson of Janta Samajbadi Party Upendra Yadav and Vice Chair of Rashtriya Janamor Shadurga Paudel signed and published the decisions of the meeting. Minister for Foreign Affairs Dr. Narayan Kharka is going to China for a three-day visit from 9th to 11th of August. He's leaving for China all at the invitation of Wang Yi, State Councillor and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the People's Republic of China. According to the ministry, the two ministers will hold delegation-level bilateral talks, leading their respective delegations on 10th of August. State Councillor and Minister for Foreign Affairs Wang Yi will host a banquet in honor of Minister Kharka and the members of the Nepali delegation. Minister Kharka will return to Kathmandu on 11th of August. Nepal Communist Party Revolutionary Maoist Mohan Baidya Kiran and CPN Majority Dharmendra Bastola Kanchan have agreed to unite the party. It was agreed to unite the party at the meeting of the team. It included General Secretary Baiti and Majority Coordinator Bastola of Revolutionary Maoist. The joint meeting of the two parties held this morning has also formed a coordination committee to advance the unity process. In addition, Baiti and Bastola issued a joint statement and called upon party organizations and leaders to join the unity process. A leader informed that during the meeting, there is a chance that the former Maoist may come together again. They also formed a 12-member coordination committee to advance the unity process. By issuing a joint statement, Baidya and Bastola have also called upon party organizations and leaders to join the unity process. Chairman of CPN UML KP Sharma Oli has said that in order to strengthen nationalism, a government should be formed under the leadership of UML. Addressing a program organized by the party's Valley Special Provincial Committee in Bhaktapur today, Oli said that if the current coalition runs the government for the next five years, the country will be destroyed, adding that to strengthen nationalism, a government should be formed under the leadership of UML, also claiming that the alliance had no destination and was only focused on self-interest. Chairman Oli remarked that there had never been such abuse of state system in history. Chairman Oli accused the coalition government of disrespecting the constitutional bodies by making the judici judiciary and the legislature favorable to himself. He commented that the speaker had become like a toy on the hands of the government, stating that there is no chance of getting two-thirds majority of the U UML for the time being. Oli held the view that a majority can be obtained if honest efforts are carried out in a coordinated manner.
He said that the damage done in the local level elections should be compensated by the upcoming elections and preparation should be made for the formation of a government with the majority of the UML at the center. Oli instructed all to focus on the elections. More than half a dozen government-owned industries are currently closed due to various reasons. The government has also formed a various working committees to reoperate re the industries. The working committee has suggested more investment in the industry, bringing them into operation by upgrading the technology, giving private and foreign investment firms to operate in the RPP model, among others. But those suggestions have not reached the level of implementation. As a result, the billion of state's investments are being wasted. This is contradicting the government's slogan of investment and job creation in the productive sectors. The study report on the reoperation of government invested and currently closed industries 2021 has mentioned that seven different industries can be reoperated. Similarly, Bhikkuti Paper Factory, the biggest paper factory in Nepal, which was sold by the government to the private sector for a pittance, has now turned into ruins. Based on the same report, it is said that the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Supply has also advanced required works. The Ministry says that the discussions are ongoing for the same. According to the Ministry, no decision has been taken on the mode of operation of the closed industries. Without any study and understanding of possibility, a cruise ship office was established in Ekantakuna on 14th of February 2019, but it has become inactive. The post of 16 employees have been fixed. There are 10 local employees in the office. Employees are not even found in the office during office hours. On reaching the ship office today, hardly five to six employees at the office were found. They were just roaming around. Some were busy on their mobile phones, while some were active, as if they were working. It would not be different from the fact to say that there is no daily work for the employees in the office. It has been four years since the establishment of the office, and all these years have been dedicated just to prepare the draft for the feasibility study. However, the question remains as to when the public would be able to board the ship as promised by the previous government. The previous government's features and plans related to ships are just one example. Even the latter government has not taken forward any plan in this regard. Now sports news. Nepal women's team has dropped one position to 102 in FIFA World Ranking. FIFA released the ranking today in which Nepal collected just 1,196.73 points. Nepal has dropped one place in the new rankings released by FIFA, the highest body of world football. In the new ranking, Nepal is at the 102nd place, falling one rank below from its previous 101st ranking. In the ranking of Asian countries, Nepal is at the 21st place. Similarly, Nepal is ranked second among South Asian countries. India, which is ahead of Nepal, is at the 58th position. The U.S. remains at the top of the world rankings. Similarly, Germany is in the second place, while Sweden has fallen to the third place. England is fourth and France is fifth in the rankings. Similarly, Netherlands is in sixth position, Canada in seventh, Spain in eighth, Brazil in ninth, and North Korea is in tenth position. With this, we have come to the end of the news. Before wrapping up, here are the headlines once again. Parties active in making strategies with the announcement of the election. The ruling coalition forms a working group for the distribution of seats. Oli says democracy will be over if coalition wins the election. Millions of young people looking for jobs abroad. More than half a dozen big industries of the country closed for years. The issue of operation limited to theories only. The ministry says the issue of opening is being discussed. Construction of cruise ship incomplete, employees without work, the trend of announcing the plan in random upsets the citizens. At least 13 people dead and dozens injured when a fire broke out in a pub in eastern Thailand. Investigation into the incident continues. The Nepal women's team drops one position to 102 in FIFA World Ranking.
That's it for tonight. Thank you for watching Prime Time.